Hey guys, Preston here, back in the episode of the New York Giants franchise, and the Giants have made the playoffs, having a record of 12-4. to The Eagles did lose their game, and that pushed the Giants into the playoffs right here. As you can see, finishing 12-4 on the season, and that's good enough, as we are the 5th slot in the playoff rank. And here's the division. The Redskins ended up winning the division, but the Giants did get the wild card spot, and that's huge for the Giants, as they were kind of... They were, they were doing the best towards the end. They were losing some games, but they pulled through. Here's Ryan Nassib's stats, as you can see in the rest of the Giants. At 25 touchdowns, 13 picks, 4,000 passing yards, 66 completion percentage. Remember, this is his first year in the NFL, so pretty good rookie year for Nassib. Well, not really rookie year, really first year. So here's Rashad Jennings, as he did pretty good, almost 1,000 yards rushing, and he came in late in the season because Andre Williams, who is having a monster season, got hurt which was sad because those two were pretty good together so here are the stats for the receivers victor cruz 92 receptions over a thousand yards receiving and kendall wright 57 receptions over 800 and odell beckham 49 catches for over 600 so pretty good stats for that blocking wise the giants they re they got a better offensive line last year but there were some good pieces they got like tim Lito and evan mathis so pretty good numbers out there. Sacks allowed. Justin Pugh, not the best right there as he gave up six sacks. Not the best numbers, but he's still young talent. Defensively wise, it's interesting for the Giants as their leading tackle in tackles was Devon Gonzalez, our rookie. Safety and sacks. My God. Gleers went just absolute godly against other teams' quarterbacks. So he had 19 sacks. That, that led the league. And Prince of Mugamara, 9 interceptions this season, also good numbers. Blair Walsh, pretty good field goal percentage, 86, made 25 out of 29. He did what he, was at, what he asked to do, and for the most part, got the job done, field goal wise. And then we move on to punting with Steve Weatherford, which had a pretty good season, 47.7 average per punt. He only had to punt the ball 39 times, so not really too many times he had actually been called upon. So let's look at the injuries. Justin Pugh, he's going to be out for the rest of the year, and so is Andre Williams. Off MVP is going to be Blaine Gabbard. I don't know if anyone really expected that. He's a 97 overall, so he must have had some season in Arizona. And coach of the year is the Cardinals coach, Bruce Arians. So we'll see if the Cardinals are facing the Giants in the playoffs, if the Giants go far. So offensive player of the year, it's going to be Blaine Gabbard, of course, the MVP. Pretty good season. Defensive player of the year, Steven Tullock, I believe. Why I don't I don't know why Prince Mugamaro clears didn't get that. I mean they led the league in interceptions and sacks. Offensive rookie of the year. Not the Giants. But defensive rookie of the year is gonna be Devin Gonzalez. So nice job by him. And now best QB Blink Gabbert. But Ryan Nasa he made seventh, so not the bad, not not the worst. Best running back, which Rashad Jennings made a case. I mean, he got sixth overall in the voting. Best wide receiver, Victor Cruz, got sixth. So, not too many Giants making the top. Best offensive line, and Giants, Seven Mathis, got seventh. And then, yeah, best defensive line, Jalen Gleers got first because he led the league in sacks. He was most deserving of it. Best defensive back, Puerto Mukamara. He got, I don't even know how, he didn't get it. Apparently, Richard Sherman had a better year, but I think Prince of Mukamara should have gotten that. Blair Walsh, he got second over Mason Crosby. And that pretty much it does it for this little recap video of the season as we go into the playoffs at, with our 12-4 record. And we'll see who's our opponent. So, much, Preston. I'll see you guys later. So, see ya.